This video may help you get started with Binary Mechanics Lab Simulator. Download the software and unzip it into any directory that you like. None of the software makes any changes into your of your registry in your Windows system. Run hotspot.execute and you're going to see a screen like this where it's asking for an output file name. Now I suggest that in your first run you right click on the icon in the upper left part of the window and set up the display parameters so that so that the display will not be garbled on your computer if they're not appropriate. In your uh, software directory, the text file BMLS help explains in the first paragraph or so how to do that. Next, type test no file path or extension for the output file name. And I press enter. Now, for the quick start, we're just going to press enter and the program will use the defaults. Now it is already seeded the uh, dimension 48 spots with a total of this many energy quanta, 165,000. Keep on pressing enter. And if we just press enter here, we're telling it zero number of ticks to run, which means that we'll manually stop it. Now here we go. This is the x-ray view. I'm going to quickly pause it. You can see here that the dimension is 48. We have 110,000 spots. And uh, uh, each pixel in this x-ray view is a single spot. And this data on the right is updated with every tick in the bit operation cycle, which is the application of the bit operations uh, defined in binary mechanics. Here is the count for inertia, the count for the vector potential events, the count for the scalar potential events. The total of those um, is called kinetic energy, Ke here, uh, which gives you um, an idea of how much kinetic energy is in the system. Okay, um, some other things uh, about the, the net charge in, in the system. Um, th what this is, is a count of particles defined as two or more m bits in the one state in a particular spot type. Here are the eight spot types and the counts, and you can see the matter versus antimatter difference. In other words, the anti, the matter, antimatter, asymmetry, mystery, is just simply something that happens in real time as we run our universe with these four bit operations cycling forever and ever. The purple items here are the number of matter and antimatter um, protons which are defined operationally where you have the red, green, and blue d quarks particle counts, all one, then we get one count here. That's just how, how it, it's defined. Here is the proportion of bits in each of the particle types or spot types. The proportion of one state bits. This is the position of bits in the proton bit cycle with the um, its standard deviation in each of three dimensions. And this is the change that occurred from the last tick. This is the same thing in terms of position and standard deviation of one state bits or energy quanta in the electron bit cycle and these changes. Now, the DP and the DE is the length of the difference or the amount of motion of all bits in the proton bit cycle compared to all DE, all bits in the electron cycle. Finally, as we move on down, we have six sides of our simulated cube and these are the number of bits leaving the cube, okay? And <clears throat> these are the total number of L-type bits 
in each of the possible directions, right and left in three different dimensions, X, Y, and Z. Uh, let's see down below here. Well, let's unpause it and see what happens. So each tick here is a completion of one cycle of applying the four bit operations to the simulated space. So the simulated, uh, this that we're seeing here is like the system state or it's like the data and the bit operations are like a cycling program which processes that data. Okay, here we have the sum of three density histograms for one state energy quanta in the X, Y, and Z directions. If I press the Y key, the next time that will uh, update, you'll have the sum only in the Y direction. If I press the space key, pause, we're paused again. And we can uh, take a, a breath. You notice down here at the bottom, the output file is going to be in the dat subdirectory and it's called test.csv this file contains on a simulator tick basis uh, the all of these parameters and and i think some additional ones as well okay um let's unpause it Now the bit cycle is shown down here. 21 simulator ticks is one proton bit cycle. And so it takes 21 ticks to go all the way around. You notice here the net charge in the volume is changing with each tick. Up here, RAND means we're in RAND mode. I'm going to take that off and watch what happens to the uh, bit density D here, which uh, the initial default vo uh, value was 0.25. In other words, one in every four bit lo loci in uh, all, all of these spots is initially set to the one state at startup, at tick zero. So let's do that. I'm going to press R. Okay, I just turned off RAND mode. Now, what is going to happen is that we're going to lose energy to the outside. You'll notice here that the vector and scalar, which correspond to V for magnetic and S for scalar or electrostatic, these numbers start to go down, and the sum of the two, okay, we're at uh, 2,600, 2,400. We're losing energy in the simulated volume. Here is the bit density. Remember, we were up here at 0.25. Uh, with 0.25, now we're down to 0.23. And it keeps going down because we're losing bits. This is called the vacuum mode. If I press B, we're then going to be in the box mode, as shown here, which means that bits attempting to exit will be reflected back into the simulated volume. So you notice things are going to stabilize here because this will maintain a certain level of bits in the simulated volume. Now down here we're computing the proton electron mass ratio and summing it up based upon the amount of motion of all one state energy quanta in the proton bit cycle and all in the electron bit cycle. All right. Oh, what do we have over here? When we get enough uh, ticks to have sufficient data, we're going to start to make a spectrum of the outbits and where uh, what what frequencies they're they're at, and so we can start to analyze things, hopefully, and find out and actually derive things like the the uh, the hydrogen spectrum and so forth